Hello hackers and welcome, my name is Cross and in this video I'll show you how to browse the internet anonymously using Firefox. First of all, I'm going to assume you have downloaded and installed Firefox. If not, go to mozilla.org and on the front page should be a free download button that you can click, download and install Firefox. Now that you've installed Firefox, you're going to change some of the default settings. Select tools in the menu at the top and then click on options. Go to content and make sure that you have block pop-ups enabled. Go to privacy and enable do not track at the top. For history, use custom settings. Enable always use private browsing mode. This will require you to restart Firefox. Accept cookies from sites, but never accept cookies from third parties. For suggestions from the location bar, select nothing. Next up, go to security and make sure that the first three boxes are checked. Under passwords, disable remember passwords for sites and use a master password. Go to advanced and then general. Then under accessibility, check the warn me when sites try to redirect or reload the page option. Under data choices, disable everything. Go to network and enable override automatic cache management and limit cache to zero megabytes. Also uncheck, tell me when a website asks to store data for offline storage use. Now we're almost done with the settings. We have to change some things in the configuration page though. To do this, go to the address bar of Firefox and write about colon config. This will take you to a page with many settings. Be careful not to change any settings. You don't know what it is. This could resolve in even less privacy or in Firefox being unable to work at all. In the description below, I have listed a bunch of things you have to search for and change their values. Double click to change the value. Now we're gonna install HTTPS everywhere on Firefox. This will automatically enable HTTPS encryption where it's supported. Go to EFF.org, scroll down and click on HTTPS everywhere in the projects box on the right. Click install in Firefox, click allow, then install now and restart Firefox to complete the installation. To connect to a website with HTTPS, go to tools, then add-ons, and then the HTTPS Everywhere Preferences, where you can set any website that supports HTTPS to use it by changing the red X to a green check mark. If you want to add a site to the list, go back to the website and click on HTTPS Everywhere Rule Sets. I won't go into any details on how to do that. Now, there's a bunch of add-ons you can download to increase your privacy, and I have listed the best of them in the description below. However, if you think I'm missing some, make sure to leave a comment saying so, and I will add them in the description. Okay, now that we have our browser secured, we only need one more thing, a MAC address changer. I recommend you use the Technetium MAC address changer. Go to technetium.com, click the link in the description, click the download now, choose a place to download it from, and install it afterwards. When you open it up, simply choose the adapter you want to change the MAC address in from the list given. Click the random MAC address button to use a random address or write your own. Click the change now button in the lower left and your MAC address will be changed. To restore the original MAC address, go through the same steps but click the restore original button. Last, but definitely not least, we need some software to cover our traces, just in case anything is left behind. You want to download CCleaner from ccleaner.com. CCleaner will securely erase all traces like cookies, offline saved data, history, memory dumps, etc. 
At the same time, it's also a good tool for your Windows registry as it would clean it from old and useless entries. Another program you want to download is Eraser. Go to eraser.heidi.ie, click Downloads, pick the latest installation file and install it. Eraser is the best to use for erasing files you want to delete from your computer. Make sure you pick the most secure method of deleting. And that's it. You are now able to browse the internet anonymously and also to erase files from your system. If you want even more privacy, I recommend using a VPN as well. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and is basically just a network you connect through in order to hide your own IP address and instead use the VPNs. If you want to use such a setup, check the description below for a VPN provider I recommend. Make sure your hard drive is encrypted in case you download anything off of the internet as well as securing yourself from virus and malware. Check out my tutorials on how to do that by clicking here or in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to like or dislike this video as well as leaving comments below. I'll see you soon.